Today I'm officially um, going to begin to induce my own labor at home. I did it with the boys and I'm about to do it with this little girl. It's time for her to go. Okay, I finally have everything like officially ready almost. <laughs> like today is basically going to be my final day of getting everything done. That way I can go ahead and like self-induce because I'm already there girl. Like. For y'all mamas that and had kids, y'all already know. Like, you know when you in early labor. It's like, you know, not the Braxton Hicks, but like you in early labor. And if you, girl, with my kids, when I was like in early labor, feeling all the contractions and stuff, all I had to do was go walk around, squat. That squatting is what really do it. Squatting, dancing, and boom, I'm in active labor. With Al, I also did acupressure, which worked. And with Isaac, I just went outside. Y'all seen the birth vlog with Isaac, but I just walked outside, did some lunges, did some dancing, and boom, I was in active labor at the end of the day. And I don't know if we did this right, but we looked at a YouTube video on how to check the cervix. And Terrence checked me, and I was three centimeters dilated. That's what he, according to him, I'm three centimeters dilated. But um, I definitely feel like I am three centimeters dilated because I've still been having, you know, the early labor contractions. They've been pretty like, you know, sporadic, but it's definitely that early labor stage. Like when you know when you're in one, between like one centimeter and three centimeters, that's like considered early labor. So that's where I'm definitely at right now. I can just feel it in my body. She's moving down. I feel her in my pelvis. I feel my bones creaking like. This girl, she she ready to come out. All I gotta do is just get the ball rolling on stuff. I feel like I've been low key trying to like hold her in because I haven't gotten done with everything I wanted to get done with before she got here. Like I wanted to do my maternity pictures, which I finally got out the way yesterday. So I'm so happy about that. Um, you know, like everything done came, stroller, like swing, just everything is finished. The nursery is totally done. So I finally feel like, you know, it's time. It's time to go ahead and go just get her out but I have a few things to do today y'all gonna join me on today just getting this birth ready and getting this birth started okay today is gonna be all about inducing my labor and just getting ready for this birth I'm so excited and um yeah I just got a few things to do around the house to make sure everything is good like I gotta get my birth um no hospital bag this time but I do have to get like my home birth essentials and home birth little kit together so my midwife can have access to that set up my birth space oh i'm so excited about that so i'm doing that and making my soup so i want to make sure i got some food to eat <laughs> during this labor okay i ain't gonna be in the hospital they ain't can't prohibit me from not eating so i'm definitely gonna be eating snacking terrace is at the store now picking up everything that i need to make my soup but look y'all look what came Baby Zara stroller is here. Oh my God, love it. This is actually the same stroller I was showing y'all a while ago. Um, the Great Go, not Great Go, the Even Flow um, Pivot, but this is not the Pivot Expand. So the one I was looking at at Target was bigger because you could make it a double stroller, but I just decided, you know what, we don't need a double stroller at all. So I'm just gonna get something cute, compact. Quick little look, how I look? You look cute. Oh, 
a squeeze. Look, it's so small. Like Al can push it. Go ahead, push it. <laughs> Love this little stroller. Huh? Yep, just like that. Go ahead, big brother. And then look at this. I love um, frame, what are these called? Frame strollers that, you know, like you can take out because it saves so much space. When you fold it up, you ain't got nothing in it. You know what I'm saying? And so, it is like, this is the lightest stroller you ever had and I love it. Boys. Boys. Boom. Like how to fold it, it's supposed to. I don't know, we're gonna figure all that out later on. But oh, I just love it. Let me show y'all part of my stress that I've been trying to let go, girl. We still, how long we been here? It's been what two months? Still no couch. We got a couch, I'm about to explain that in a minute. But I mean, we finally got a table, we did that. Still ain't got bar stools. Um. Still ain't got a sitting area. Like, I'm just so irritated with like our whole decoration of furniture stuff going on because I really wanted to have everything set up by now. Like, I thought I was gonna have it boom, boom, bam, out the way real quick. But let me tell y'all, this is the struggle with trying to order furniture online. This couch, we opened one. First of all, this is the couch. It came in these little cube things, and we were just like, Is this small? Like, that's the couch? That's the whole? That's it? That's all the boxes? Girl, this looked like a kitty couch. Like, like, it was made for toddlers. Like, it was so low to the ground, so small. Like, I just was like, Absolutely not. I don't even unwrap that thing. We're taking these things back. Like, Boo boo, no. So we messed up on that one. Waited a whole month for this couch because it was custom ordered. It was like back ordered or whatever, this special, beautiful looking couch that was online, back ordered. A whole month we waited for this couch and we got it and we hate it. And I thought the couch was gray. It's white. What I'm gonna do with a white couch? What I'ma do with a white couch? I said absolutely not. We gotta take this back, and I'm so frustrated because now we have wasted like um what five six hundred dollars with shipping because they're not gonna you know deduct the shipping from the refund, and then we have to pay for shipping to return it. So I'm like, wow, that's so much fun just wasting money down the drain. Like that is just awesome. I've been trying to think of other stuff to do with this couch, like if I could put it in another part of the house that it'll look right in, but nothing it's just like this couch was like almost 300 300 i wish this couch was almost three thousand dollars i'm just like girl this is this is yeah it's been a furniture nightmare for us like for real these bar stools <laughs> we just need to hire a, a interior designer because this is not working out these bar stools i had ordered them and then i end up canceling them because terrace didn't like them after i showed them after the fact that I ordered them. So I canceled them, right? They still sent them, so now we waiting on a shipping label for, to send them back. We can't make a decision when it comes to the sitting room. I'm just scared now. I'm scared to order anything else online because of this whole couch situation. I'm like, I don't wanna waste no more money. You know when you like buy something online, you gotta pay for shipping to return it if you don't like it. And then all the stores is closed down, so we can't even go to a furniture store and just pick something and see it and know how it look. Like it's, y'all, this is such, it, it's stressful, it is. Because I wanted to have my house completed, um, especially before the baby got here. Obviously it's not gonna be done before she get here. But um, yeah, I just wanted to have it done out the way. Definitely, it's not looking like it. We supposed to have so much stuff in here. We was gonna go to Home Goods for so much like decor in here and little benches and foyer area stuff. But obviously, we can't do that. Everything is shut down. <laughs> it's like, like I said, it's hard to shop online because you just can't see what you're getting. And then we didn't learn with this whole couch situation. 
I'm like y'all don't even understand how mad I am about this couch. That's the whole thing now. We still waiting on more stuff. Um it's just been crazy, y'all. Like we ordered a couch for the theater room, got here, we didn't really like it for the theater room, so we ended up doing something else with that couch upstairs. Like we got so many damn couches, they still ain't got nothing for the living room. So we end up ordering something else for the movie room, like actual movie seats. It's just like, oh my God, what are y'all doing? Like we really need an interior designer. I think that would really just, that would be so great if we if we did that because this, we, we suck. <laughs> We can't agree on nothing. We can't really come up with a design plan. It's just been hard trying to come together and make decisions and like agree on stuff and like actually have a scheme going down here. Like this is the only thing. And Terrence don't even like them chairs. I like the chairs. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the chairs. He don't like the chairs. It's, it's, it's girl, the struggle has been real. My heart away went a bit too far. So wrong. Oh no, open up my soul. But babe, how could I know? You're cold. Shame on you. Ooh, ooh. Should I've seen what you were like? Dangerous nights. You got me on all day and with no squatting going on and inducing stuff going on all day because I just been knocked out so <laughs> so I'm up now I still ain't cooked my soup I still ain't clean up but I'm about to get like my little birth bag together or whatever basically just some things that my midwife will need access to to help me out and things like that these are my after birth clothes like nothing nothing fancy at all I'm just gonna be wearing a tank top I'll probably just honestly be in my robe so I can be naked and like, you know, skin to skin and breastfeed and stuff. But I'm just gonna put my tank top in here, some socks and some clean underwear. So I have my electric heating pad I'm gonna put in there. Just got a sports bra here just in case. I don't really know if I need that, but just in case I do. Oh, my postpartum stuff. <laughs> So I'm gonna put my Perry bottle up in here. I got this stuff from Target and it's the Freedom Mom upside down Perry bottle. I remember these with birth with my other two. So they really come in handy. And obviously I'm not gonna be going to a hospital to get all this stuff for free. So I had to purchase it myself, but I got this from Target. And then I also got, oh Lord, these is heavy. Instant ice maxi pads. I had these. You know, they give AC like at the hospital and it's basically like a cooling icy pad. It is a gift for postpartum, okay? So I was like, I gotta find me some. I found some at Target, Freedom Mom, got all the postpartum stuff. What you do is like fold it until it like pops and then you shake it and then that's how I get all icy and stuff. So, oh, girl, I'm about to put a few of these up in my bag. There we go. Same little hospital bag that I used for Isaac. I don't know if I use this for Alexander, but I definitely use this, my hospital bag with Isaac. So that's funny, I'm using the same bag, but I'm doing a home birth now. Oh, one more thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need these. They wasn't on my home birth list or, or anything. I just thought that they might be helpful. These are like the underpads, basically like, if I end up having birth or giving birth on the bed or something, just like, you know, put down some protection or if I end up being on the floor, you really never know. I got a plan to be in my tub. That's my birthing spot, that's my birthing plan. But just in case anything else happens, I'm gonna have like, you know, some underpads just to protect. Also have a fishing pole. I actually got this for the birthing pool. It was on the must have list of things to have like for your birthing pool that the midwife brings. But I decided I wanted to have, give birth in my actual bathtub. So I don't know if I'm gonna need this, but I still got it just in case. I sh probably should have asked <laughs> if this thing was like $14 off Amazon, but it's just a fishing pole to, I guess like scoop out debris and stuff. So I probably will need this. Alright, got my little extendable fishing pole. Maybe this will come in handy for later on in my life if I ever decide to like get a pool or anything. So <laughs> I got a fishing pole or what, what? Not a fishing pole, fishing net. There we go. And I think that's really it for my 
like birth kit and then i also have my baby scale over here i'm gonna just put this stuff right here right out in the open pads right there i got my baby and toddler scale i got this off amazon there's my home birth stuff already and set to go got the baby's bassinet set up got her little bobby pillow right here i got the diaper caddy right here like little girl we is just prepared okay got my birthing ball right here also got this birthing ball from target i found everything on target especially because they are the only store who's doing who does like the drive up or whatever so and they still doing it during the whole shut down epidemic so I got all my birth and stuff from Target or Amazon. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set up my birthing space. So right in my bathroom. This is the birthing space. I already got this stuff like a while ago off of Amazon. Got my little bath pillow, my little, you know, tray or whatever. I can have my snacks and everything I need right there. I'm gonna put my candles around. All I need to do is clean out this tub make sure it's all set to go. snacks <laughs> i just got like my favorite candies um you know something to crunch on of course my waters of course i got my ice here so i got my labor snacks ready to go i'm gonna just put them in a plastic bag so i can take them upstairs with me not sure
got all my stuff ready to go y'all i'm starting to feel prepared i got my soup going over here i forgot to show y'all something else that came for little miss zara look what came her little swing i'm so excited we never had the mama roo and i was telling y'all i wanted to try this and so far so good it looks so cool like, look at that Thank mm -hmm. you. 